Hello, hello, Crafting Mantis here, and welcome back to another episode on the Diamond Society server. In the last episode, we ended up creating the theater, which came out, I think, really well. I was definitely very happy with the way that that turned out. So let's continue with our progress. And um, after I had been getting done with the theater, I started working on this area here, which is, you know, the farmland area. So let's go ahead and get out of F5 mode. So I started working on the farmland. So we ended up building the that house over there two episodes ago. You know, and it's definitely funny because he's like, yeah, you know, first house after the huge entertainment district. <laughs> but that's okay. We now have we now have our first house in the farming area. Um, I also ended up getting with Cortez and we've kind of planned some things out. Um, granted, it's going to take a while to get this area done, but I've gone through and I ended up marking different areas. Um, this is going to be a, a house here. And then I show you guys that one over there. That's going to be a house. But one of the biggest things that I did is to get the roads in, in this area, which kind of helps dictate how things are put together. Cause I wanted to kind of make it so that there is, you know, all kinds of different sections and stuff like that. Um, that way we can kind of say, you know, okay, well, this is going to be this, this is going to be that and, you know, move stuff around and, and whatnot. So I'm going to bring my camera account on so that I can show you these cause you can't really see them from, um, from the ground. So I will go and get that. All right, guys. So here we have it. We have this road that ends up coming down and around. And then we've got the one house that I already showed you guys that where I was going to end up putting it. And then um, all kinds of stuff. If we actually, let's see if we can get up here. So you can kind of get a bird's eye view of what's going on here. So this is, you know, kind of how the roads and stuff are set up. Now, there may be additional roads that get added depending on how, you know, how things ended up going into each other. And the thing is, is that it might not necessarily be actual roads. We may do, you know, like, um, like dirt paths, not like, you know, the dirt Minecraft dirt path, but, you know, maybe like, um, coarse dirt going through a field. Maybe, you know, there's a shortcut through a field that people end up taking and stuff like that. But this is how everything is set up at the current time. I know this one section here is really big, but with that, that hill and stuff like that, it kind of makes it, you know, a little bit more difficult to, to deal with. But we have all kinds of stuff here, which is really awesome. But today we are actually going to be working on this house here. Um, this house, yeah, this house here, because this house is going to be the, um, the one that I'm going to be using for, um, as you know, kind of like a sheep herder because over here, I think it was this one. Yeah. I'm going to end up making a sheep pasture. And so, uh, you know, there's going to be, you know, this one will be close to that, that sheep pasture. Granted, there is going to be two sheep pastures over here in the grassy area. Um, so I might end up building another house over there as, you know, kind of like the, you know, for like the sheep farm, uh, sheep farmer again, but I'm not hundred percent sure. It depends on how the other things end up developing and then we'll kind of go from there. So I am going to get on my, um, my regular account and we'll get started.
right, so I hope you guys enjoy the time lapse. It was the first time that I have used the replay mod. So be brutal. <laughs> Just don't be nasty. Um, I definitely want your guys' feedback as to, you know, what you guys think of that particular time lapse. Um, you know, in terms of like camera movement, you know, and stuff like that. Um, so like, as, like I said, it's the first time I've ever used the replay mod. So constructive criticism is definitely greatly appreciated, but we have another house. Woohoo! So I added a few things up here. We got a little wheelbarrow, we, we, wheelbarrow, there we go. Um, so that's just, you know, oak gates and a cauldron. So just a little one. And then a pile of hay over here because the pasture is going to be over here. And I thought, oh, okay, you know, this, this, this kind of works. And then in here, I added the, you know, the little, um, overhangs and then a little fountain and the altar. And then inside, not a whole lot's going on here. So I added the, added the quartz like I did in the other house. No furniture or anything like that. And then I did add this little staircase. I don't know if this is where it's going to stay. But then I added the quartz up here as well. Not 100% sure how I'm going to do the interiors to these. Because I also haven't got done the interior to the other house. <laughs> so that might be an episode all in its, you know, all in itself. The interiors of the houses. <laughs> but yeah, super happy with the way that this ended up coming out. Definitely enjoyed doing, you know, doing the build. Oh, and then also I decided to go with a light gray glass because unless you're actually looking for it, you can't really, I mean, it's, it's there, but it's not there. So just like the trick on the Coliseum over there in order to get the iron bars to go over, I think I'm going to use the light gray glass and, you know, for the windows, that way mobs can't get into the house in order to hide once the... Um, once the sun comes up. So definitely happy with the way this one came out. I am going to need to design another house for over there, but I've already got plans for a build that goes right there. And then also another build, which goes on the river. So the, um, the house will probably be maybe like the third or fourth project from here. But, you know, I might get inspired to build somewhere else, you know, because I still have like the tunnels and stuff to go through the, the mountains. I still have to finish up the grotto. So many things to do. But I wanted to bring you guys in since I ended up completing the inside of this. And then what I am going to do is I'm going to get the pasture set up over here and then bring you guys back to, you know, kind of wrap up the video. So I'm going to get started on that, and then I will be right back with you guys. All right, we have a sheep pasture. So the, the fencing is just, re, you know, it's really simple. I use the, the spruce fence, fence posts and then cobble as kind of like um, corner posts. Though it's, you know, a little bit more than corners. Um, they run all the way through, but that helps to break up the fencing and, you know, add a little bit more interest to the, um, to the fence. And then I went through and I bone mealed the, um, I bone mealed the entire area and then kind of went through and was like, you know, whacking, you know, just kind of thinning it out a little bit, um, where there's, you know, clumps and stuff like that. And then, of course, ended up removing all of the flowers from in here. Over here, I have a little water trough. Um, and it looks like I might need to add a little bit of grass there. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Um, and then over here, this is a, a little shelter building where they can end up, you know, having um, food, you know, like the hay and stuff like that over here. And it's, you know, relatively sheltered and, and whatnot. So, you know, the, the sheep can come over here, munch, 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 you know, and then go about. And I put that one a little bit further away because I figured that this was something that's not necessarily used all year round. Um, and so it'll be a little bit further back in the field. And plus, you know, you got the shade from, from the mountain here as well. And then with the water, you know, either there was, you know, like a spring over here that they can end up supplying 
you know, this with water or, you know, it's, it's close enough to the fence that, you know, um, in fact, the entrance is right here that they can come in here, fill up the trough and then, you know, and then leave. Um, and especially with the temperatures and stuff in it, Greece. The sheep are going to need some water, <laughs> especially since there's not, you know, a natural pond in, you know, in this particular pasture. Um, I think there's some water and stuff in, in some of the other ones over there. But we have sheep and there's, there's eight sheep in here. And I think that's about where I'm going to keep them for the different pastures. Because for one, I don't want to add too many mobs. Um, I already went through and did a massive killing spree of any of the passive mobs in this area. Um, other than the rabbits, I didn't feel like chasing after them, but, um, like cows that spawn in here, pigs, you know, um, both of those weren't really animals that were, um, were really used in Greco-Roman, well, at least Greek times, you know, ancient Greek times, it was mostly sheep and I think goats, but there are no goats in vanilla Minecraft, so we are going to have to suffice it with sheep. And so definitely super happy with the way that this ended up coming out. Um, you know, I wasn't hundred percent sure how the grass would end up, you know, kind of working in this area, especially since I've pretty much removed all the grass. Well, th this area didn't have any grass. This was all sand. So, <laughs> but, um, as this starts, pro you know, developing and stuff like that, you know, we'll probably end up using bone meal and stuff in order to add, add more grass, add some texture and make it so that it's not, you know, not so bland. Um, because this definitely, this definitely doesn't have a whole lot of interest with just straight land. So, but yeah, that I think is going to be it for this episode. Um, and definitely don't forget to, you know, leave me a comment in regards to the, uh, the time lapse. And then, uh, you know, any other feedback or anything like that is definitely greatly appreciated. If you like this episode, definitely hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed, please do so. Um, I always enjoy new faces. And then um, hit that notification bell as well. It'll let you know when I put out additional content. But for now, I'm going to call it. And I will see you guys in the next episode.